Hey guys, it's Sheila with Sheila's One Stop Coaching Channel, where every Wednesday and Friday I put out videos with content. On Wednesdays, I share my writing journey. I've been reading out of the book that I published last year in 2020, I think it was around June, that God allowed me to get this book out. And today, and on Fridays, it's kind of like a transformational, informational, motivational, inspirational, life coaching tip. And what I've been doing on Fridays is I have been reading out of my B devotional that I wrote, and I've been reading it from the computer when I use my phone, and, and then I've been using reading it off of my phone through Google Docs. But I got a surprise today. Yay! It don't really show it very good in here, but How to Be Prosperous, a 31-day devotional by Sheila Texter. It is journaling and prayer. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. So sorry. Oh, my goodness. And Bible Insights for All Ages. I don't edit my videos <laughs> so it is it is what it is and you're getting what you get just it's just raw but I'm going to read today from day 14 but I am just so excited guys I have probably already I just got these books in yesterday I did a video on Facebook last night I'm gonna download that after a while sometime and I'm actually gonna put that on my channel but I'm just doing my inspirational regular Friday video right now. I am going to be reading out of this. But I, so far, I've already sold about 10 of these. They are uh, $9.99 a piece. And you can get them from Amazon. You can go on Amazon. Now, you'll have to spell the B, B-E-E, -E, how to be prosperous if you're going to buy it from Amazon. Uh, but if you buy it from me, and if you live around here, around the Blyville, Arkansas area, or if you're coming through and you want me to meet you, I can definitely meet you somewhere for $10. But for $13, I can ship it, you know, here in the United States. I can ship it here in the United States. So, guys, that's, that's I'm going to read out of this here in just a few minutes. But my goal as a transformational life coach my goal is to help someone find their purpose, find their goal, and to awaken those things that are in you. And when they are awakening, then you take action. Guys, I apologize for my video today. It's The lighting's not right. I couldn't get it right. I am in my office where I normally do my videos, but I am doing it a little earlier than I normally do, and so the sun is shining through this one particular window right here to the, maybe the right of you, <laughs> but to the left of me, and I had to try to cover it up somewhat, but so it looks like I'm almost like a white ghost, and I've tried to put a back drop behind me a little bit so that there's not so much it's not so noisy behind me that you're looking at my stuff and you're looking at the books and the pictures and I just got too much stuff and you pray for me pray for me that I'll do better and that I will you know maybe you know rearrange my office rearrange things and have a better setup for my videos but for right now this is what I'm doing this is what I got so but anyway but subscribe to my channel, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Share it, like it, comment on it. It's it's some good content. It is. It's it's not a bunch of fluff. It's no, it's not a bunch of jokes, and it's not a bunch of humorous and hilarious stuff. And what a lot of people like <laughs> seems like these days. I I see those channels with like one million subscribers and one million views, and and I'm not knocking that. That's okay. But I'm just asking you, as a individual, to subscribe to my channel. Help me out and share it and help me get this out there. And like I say, guys, I am in the process of writing my second how, uh, be, pro uh, 
be devotional. It is how to be, I think it's going to be how to be intentional. If I'm not mistaken, that's the thing that I'm going to use is how to be intentional. But um, on Wednesdays, I try to wear my shirt that has got a picture of my book, Life After the Mistake. And on Fridays, I do this, I wear this Be Bible Smart. And see, he's got a Bible and smart. He's got a B, you know, with a light bulb. Uh, reading the Bible because I'm telling you guys that, that is where the key is at the key to everything in your life lies within the Word of God but I'm gonna get on here get in here and read it from the actual book today so I'm excited about that I'm so excited but last week we read from day 13 and this week we're gonna read from day uh, 14 yeah, I opened right up to it. But look, guys, I, I don't know if you can tell, but look at that. I love it. And remember how I said that at the end of each one, there will be like a journal. I hate that my lighting's not acting right. But there's a journal. There's some call to action um, questions. And then it gives you a place to write. And like I've said, you do not have to necessarily answer those questions. You can just journal in it. You know, whatever you feel like, if you felt something about that scripture that day, it's going to be yours to do whatever you want to do with it. I just will appreciate the support. Day 14, Genesis 39, 21 through 23. But the Lord was with Joseph. Joseph is one of my favorite, favorite characters in the Bible. And showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Even while he was in prison, he had favor. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison. That whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. Now, all my scriptures come from King James Version. Unless the Lord changes my mind, all of my books, all of my devotionals will be King James Version. I always say it's not that I think that it's more holier than any other book or that it's right and every other book is wrong. It's just my preferred version. It's what I grew up on. It's what I came to understand. And so that's the, it's just the one that I use. The keeper of the prison Look not to anything that was under his hand, because the Lord was with him. And that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Ooh, Jesus. I mean, guys, think about that. The man was in prison, and he still found favor. Everything he did, God allowed him to prosper. Even in the 13 years of trials and tribulation and problems, God allowed him to have favor and prosper. You know, Joseph had those dreams at 17 years old. And he was 30 years old before he stood before Pharaoh and became second in command. And I, that, I may be jumping ahead of myself because that's, that's probably maybe in my little insight here. So then I'm going to read uh, just some, uh, like, my insight, my reflection of this scripture. Again, remember, this is how to be prosperous. This book is centered around uh, how to be prosperous. We can't do a devotional without Joseph. He is one of my favorite, favorite examples in the Word of God. He didn't ask for God to put him in this place. He was chosen. Honestly, we are all chosen to do a work for God. Some people will live their whole life and never really step into that work. Many times when God begins to show up in our life and begins to deal with our hearts to go a certain way, we're all excited until the first resistance shows up. Then we begin to question if it was God or our own desires. Either way, we share. Either way, we see Joseph sharing his dreams with his brothers, which did not go over well. I have to have my glasses. I hate that it's blurring, but I have to have them. I can tell you from experience, everyone will not be happy for you. During the journey of becoming what God has called us to do, there will be bumps in the road. Let me encourage you today, though, dear friend. If God has called you to something, 
rest assured that the funds will be there. Joseph faced many obstacles on his journey to becoming the prince of Egypt, but God provided for him the whole way. Just like this passage of scriptures I have shared today, no matter where Joseph was on his journey, God gave him favor and everything he put to his put his hand to prospered. What a promise for his children, even in our world today. Guys, we don't have to lack. We don't have to lack. We just need to know the Word of God and know what actions to take. Here's the prayer that I wrote out. Dear God, help me to keep the course you have laid out for me. Help me not to quit when the path gets rocky. Help me to look to your Word and find these Bible truths. I will, if you called me to it, hold on, to find these Bible truths, just like this story of Joseph. If you called me to it, then I will have the strength and knowledge to prosper in the work. I may not be thrown into prison, but I have fought the enemy of my soul many times. I know if you call me to a work, I will prosper. And then the call to actions, that was the prayer. The call to action is, do you feel like God has given you dreams and has nudged you in a certain area? Then again, you're going to have an area. You're going to have this area to write. I love the fact that it's like a devotional prayer journal thing. Write those dreams down. Also, write what you feel like would be your biggest wall. You know? Man, guys, I love it. I'm so excited. It is so fulfilling and it so rewarding to hold this book in my hand if you've watched any of my youtube channels my videos if you have followed me any at all on facebook over the last four years or so you know that i have uh, that the b thing has been my go-to it really has now i did write this other book in between all of that because it was inspired of god for, to god to uh for me to write these this hard story to let people know that failure is not final you know if you have a gift man can't take that away from you they cannot take that gift away from you the only one that can remove that gift is God. When he removes that candlestick. And I know that God is so merciful. He is so merciful. It takes a, it would take a whole lot for God to move that candlestick and to remove his mercy off of your life. Because the Bible is so full of people that failed, people that he called. Really, I don't read of a one. The only one that I know of that didn't fall was Mary, the chosen one, the, the one that birthed Jesus. I want to seem like all the others that he called to do something special. You know, they had to fight tooth and nail. They failed themselves, you know, in areas. You know, they were murderers. They were adulterers. They were liars. They were cheaters, you know. God, help us to realize that we're not beyond, we're not beyond, you know, what God wants us to do in our lives. But it's, it ain't but 14 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and get off here today. I love you guys. I really appreciate y'all following me, subscribing, and, and listening, and uh, stay tuned for my uh, other video where, that I uh, did for uh, my Facebook Live about my uh, how to be prosperous book and if you want one reach out to me i'm on facebook sheila texter you can comment on this channel uh, i have a sheila's one-stop facebook page as well I, ha I have a website be bible smart but it's still in the process of being worked on guys so you may not want to go there but anyway i'm going to continue on let's continue on guys we have a new president I don't you know 
I'm sorry, but I'm not liking nobody's posts where they're dogging Trump or they're dogging Biden. I, I'm just not going there. I don't believe God wants us to do that. I don't believe as children of God we're supposed to do that. And I don't believe we're supposed to argue and fuss and dispute. Because if we bite and devour one another, we will be consumed one of another. And I don't know about you. I don't want to fight my brothers and sisters. I've got an I've got a real enemy down here and his name is his name is Satan. That's who I'm fighting. But until next week, y'all have a great weekend. Uh, stay strong, stay prayed up, stay happy in the Lord, and be encouraged. Be encouraged at this as the church. As the church, be encouraged. I see you later, guys.